l'homme a fait des, des progrès en, en observant la nature et en voyant sa construction, combien elle est belle et, euh, si j'ose dire, quelquefois ingénieuse. Voilà. Et euh, j'étais un de ces enfants qui, qui aiment observer euh, voilà, nature, animaux, plantes. Je faisais, euh, je faisais un jardin, ça faisait hurler mon père. Quand j'avais 15-16 ans, il disait euh, un jeune garçon ne s'occupe pas à 15-16 ans de faire un jardin. <rire> il est avec ses copains, il est avec ses copines. The first stage of the process is controlled sorting. We monitor what was brought in and check for abnormalities. We start the process by immediately opening the garbage bags with a bag opener we invented and fully patented. We created this machine to ensure that the materials are evenly spread out on the conveyor belt without damaging the structure of the matter. It's obviously easier to sort an item rather than many tiny pieces of it. More than 99% of the bags are opened after passing through the bag opener. We start the chain by spreading the product out so we can see them well, so the machine can work properly. By a series of industrial process, mainly alternative current magnets and eddy current systems, we capture the metals. The organic matter is also captured at this early stage in order to keep the sorting line clean. Using optical robots, we sort the papers, cardboards, and plastics. Organic material constitutes 40% of household waste. We focus on this organic matter from the outset and remove it, not to contaminate the recyclables. We'll turn it into a concentrate of organic matter. At this point, it's still very impure and is mixed with a number of other undesirable matter. Within these undesirables, they are recyclables. Our repeated measures will capture these recyclables to concentrate the organic matter and break it down. During the composting process, we recreate in an industrial building the conditions in which composting occurs in nature. Our roofs let in the light and the UVs from the sun, and large blowers recreate the wind. We also water the organic matter with its own juice and with rainwater collections to avoid using the drinking water system. After four weeks, the compost is now ready to be filtered to remove non-biodegradable impurities. Finally, the degraded organic material is now a premium quality, stable hummus, ready to regain the soil and act as a natural fertilizer or be used to produce methane biogas. Now that we've isolated the organic matter that will be transformed into compost, and sorted out the recyclables, which will become raw materials such as paper, metals, glass, and plastics, we are now left with a specific type of non-recyclable plastic, composite plastic such as most food packaging. Like other plastics, there are petroleum products, so they retain all their energy potential. 
By transforming this composite plastic into solid fuel, we can offer an alternative fuel to clients such as power plants or cement plants. Compared to coal, burning this solid fuel is not only cheaper, but also generates seven times less emissions, including the main pollutants such as sulfur and arsenic. After this last step, what will remain is the matter that could not be recycled or become combustibles. From the total amount of waste entering the facility, the unusable final waste only represents 10% it will be disposed of safely. The three-waste technology enables the recycling of 90% of household waste. 40% of common household waste is organic matter, which generates 20% compost. From the other half, we will extract 35% solid fuel and 15% raw materials, consisting of paper, metals, glass and plastics. The remaining 10% is unusable final waste that will be disposed of safely. Recovering raw material from waste is also the first step to a circular economy. Circular economy is a local economy, a micro to large industry that can develop to benefit the people and to benefit the land. À l'avenir, euh, on ne peut pas enfouir des produits qui ont une valeur collective, euh, qui ont une valeur pour euh, nos entreprises, donc pour nos, pour nos sociétés humaines. N'enfouissons pas euh, des déchets qui ont une valeur euh, pour tous.